What up, YouTube? Hey! We kind of look like a mess because we didn't prepare for a video. But my life was just threatened. <gasps> you hear about that right after Here's the Leah. intro. Now. <laughs> if you haven't checked out some of our old videos, yeah, it's all over the place from silly dad jokes to whatever. One of our videos was about parking wars. And if you don't know what that is, here's just a little clip of what Parking Wars was. Now, we're having an issue with where they like to steal a cone and then put the cone outside in front of their house. And look at the cone right here. So that it saves them a parking spot so people think Con Ed is coming to fix the building. But it's not just that one. It's also another house and it's also another house. I'll show you another example. Another day, put in a cone. Go. Here they, we go again. They move oh. the cone. Oh, it's their car. And they put their car there. Does the car's been parking there at night? I thought yeah. that they were being rebels. No, so they park their car there. Right here. Right there and say that that's a driveway. But it doesn't have and the it doesn't have thing. the, look at the, the sidewalk. And that gate doesn't move. And no, wait, that's their that's a garage. garage. So fast forward to today. That was, <laughs> when was Parking Wars? It's been happening for this past whole year. I'll put the official date here, up here. And today is July 20th. And we're how many days from the wedding? 49 days. <laughs> Damn. That's however long this Parking Wars was going on. Well, the battle officially began today but we sent the first attack <laughs> okay this is what happened so we get home from the mall and there's no parking so we're going around the block still no parking now this guy always puts a cone in this spot just like the video you just saw like the video mm -hmm. so today we decided to move it because there's no parking we usually let him have his way but if there's no parking, why should we go around in circles if that's a public parking spot? It doesn't have like the, what's it called? A slope? A, a slope, slope. Whatever it's called. The gate doesn't even open. The gate doesn't open. Nothing. It has grass in that whole area. It is not your parking spot. Then right adjacent to it, it's a two car garage. Two car garage that he, he owns. He, yes. But he wants to have it like a freaking junkyard in there. That's his problem. Yeah, storage bin place. Well, so anyway, moved it. I moved it and I parked and Shelly was saying, oh, look, this is what happens. I was recording and I was like, oh, <laughs> Rob finally got it set and he moved the cone. And who comes out? The old little man. The old man who uh, is the one who's putting cones all over that side of the uh, neighborhood trying to steal parkings for his granddaughter. Who's a spoiled little brat yeah. that goes to college or work or whatever, comes home drunk sometimes, but she needs her little princess parking. So Look she, for a damn parking. She, this is what happened. Officially pissed Rob off. He moved the cone. Moved the cone. He's gonna break the car? That's not a driveway. I don't care. Denied. She can park in your driveway. I drive with my kiss in my garage. All right, exactly. This isn't your driveway. Yeah, I'm keep the keys. I'm me up. No, it's okay. I don't know. I'm the car. Every time we come, if this parking is available, I'm gonna take it. If anything happens to the car, we'll come back since he's gonna break it. I'm coming to my car to get off for that. I'm gonna put the key, but get the lock. Please. Why do you understand? You said you're gonna break the car, or what? There is no other parking. But why can't your granddaughter look for another parking? Right there. Are you finished? You finished? Okay, have a good night. Okay, bye. Guys, so I just want to put it out there that technically, we won parking wars. We moved that freaking cone. 
And we part. They don't know what we're talking Yeah, I have it all on camera. I'm saving this part. I'm not really posting it yet. But then my mom showed up. She's crazy. She is nuts. But we ended up moving the car because we found a parking two cars down from our apartment. So. But we still won because we took it. Right, babe? Yeah, she got him mad. Pissed. We got death threats, car threats, all my, types of threats. The guy half my size, like, I'm going to kill you. Babe, you heard that? I felt bad he was old, but still, be grumpy somewhere else. Guys, so mom decided to show up. Mom, say hi. Hi, I'm looking for the prick who said he's going to key cars and uh, kill, kill people. people. He lives right here. He's not coming out now. Of course. But you know mama. He must have smelled me. I'm from the South Bronx. Oh yeah, because the South Bronx says, you know, we can't. This is not the South Bronx. You can't act like that, mom. You can't take a parking that's free here. I hung them to come out. <laughs> We're only moving the car because we found a closer parking now by the house. But he won't come out after that scene he made. That's because mom. Ryan, I honked the neighbor to see if he came out. No, they're arguing inside, but he will not open the door. Yeah, he knows. He knows you guys are waiting. <laughs> he knows what he has coming. I have my Puerto Rican chanclas on and slap him across the face with it. <laughs> the hard one, too, not those soft ones. Them hard, cuero ones. <laughs> gonna rag him all over the place. Ma, you upset? Yeah, I'm upset. Who the <gasps> fuck he think he is? He got a kid, too? How would he like it if I tell his son or his daughter or something? Eso, yo te parí a ti. A ti no te parió nadie. Te parí yo. Ma, go back to the South Bronx. Hmm? Yeah, I have it in my heart. <laughs> yeah, I got a million dollar house. This nigga talking about the South Bronx. <laughs> now, everything cuts off because Shelly and I decided to walk towards our house, which is the next block over. He proceeds to say, if you don't move your car and my granddaughter gets here, I'm going to kill you. That's what he told me. So that pissed me off. So I turned back around. Yeah, and then she started recording. Mind you, this guy is half my size, so it's a little just... cute. He's a little cute old man, but he's yeah. feisty. If he would have asked, I told him. Yeah. I said you could have simply came outside and asked. I was like, look, please, my granddaughter comes home very late. Can you just please do this one time? Whatever. But he comes out like the king of kings, <laughs> yelling, screaming, and then he gets insulting, saying, "This is not the South Bronx." We were born and raised in the South Bronx. And, and, no, it's not the South Bronx because in the South Bronx, people don't talk to people like that. Yeah. There, he was so rude, threatening people's life, like, and then said he was gonna key the car, or throw, he said, throw the car. He was a strong kiss, he no, and he's a Hulk. the key. I think he says it in the video, he's gonna take this key and scratch it. That's what he was trying yeah, to say. Yeah, but then he also then asked, Rob for the keys to move the car himself. I'm like, he, he came out the gate to, for me to give him like, the give key. Me the keys. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, so. Nope. so then I called my mom. Called her in the middle of it and I put on FaceTime and I said, this little man right here, as you can see, is threatening us. He's saying he's gonna kill Rob, key the car, throw the car somewhere, whatever. So she got really upset. So she decided she was gonna come over. And then we went in my vehicle and we sat in it, in front of that parking spot. And my mom hung. She was cursing up a storm to see if he came out. But you couldn't hear him speaking inside with his wife, who was very upset because she comes out and she goes, Oh, it's okay, it's okay. And telling him to come inside. And I said, Ma'am, um, I just want to tell you that there was no need for your husband to come outside and threaten my fiance and threaten to re ruin our vehicle. I have it all on video. Woman panics and goes, I don't speak English that clearly perfectly after she's like don't worry guys just go he doesn't speak english um but yeah anyway this may not be the end of parking wars <laughs> it may just be the battle but not yet the war i don't know but obviously we won this one yeah obviously if that cone is there and it's the only parking i'm not gonna go look there's days that i go three hours looking for parking after basketball whatever. wait I, and i said that in like, the video yeah i said every time we come and there's no parking and this is available we're gonna park here yeah he's very lucky that we're aren't like mean yeah when uh, i just i think i didn't consider him a threat but he's yeah he's such a little old man but we should though because you never know what they can do yeah. he could have just ran us over with his lawnmower with his lawnmower anyway <laughs> keep an eye out for maybe parking wars part three 
um, more Sims, maybe some dad jokes, because I am a dad of two 11-year-old girls. And he is a joke. <laughs> anyway, love you. Peace out. He thinks he's Sammy Sosa. Peace out. Hi, guys. He really likes when you go like this, though. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Let us know what you think. Were Shelly and I too harsh? Did we go too far? Were we right? And have you ever experienced this? Comment down below. Let us know. Please leave a like and share. Please subscribe as well. Thank you for watching. See you soon.